Day 19, nearly over, and it's a long one with eight matches and two bonus DLC matches. So let's get on with it because it's Hanan, and Hanan went the whole tournament winless. So I'm gonna skip to Mina Shirakawa with this gorgeous entrance, and she's gonna win. And what? Hanan finally wins two points off of Mina, but but. But like, why? Why, Rossi? What is two sympathy points gonna do for Hanan? She's your future stardom champion who can barely get two points? Pick a lane, Rossi. Mina just beat her biggest opponent in Saya Kamatani and validated her arc of the tournament and then, oops, Hanan out Hanan'd me. No, no, I refuse. Let's check her bonus DLC match really quick. Hanan beats Saya Ida. She ends her tournament with four points. Wow! What a future of stardom. Leave her at zero and she has something to work with. But leave her at four and it's just apathy. Whatever. Next is Komomo against Micah, who can extend her lead in the red block with what should be an easy win. But the woman I see as the anime protagonist who is actually at the relatable age in her mid-30s, which makes her even more of a perfect protagonist for a wrestling show, has the sexy book of Kashima. Doesn't matter, cause Micah, the impressionable one, must have been under the impression that she is the shocking season finale win for the anime protagonist, and that's exactly what happened. You can clearly see my bias with Komomo versus Hanan, I don't care. I like Komomo exactly for what she is. Next is Starlight Kid, the little Miro, out to lay down God's punishment as she smites Saya Ito. Away. Next is Suzu Suzuki facing against. Look at this entrance video for Ami Sore. Doesn't help her win though. Everyone has already learned how to escape her finisher. Thus, Suzu wins 12 points. Next is Unagi with her T Rex versus the Jumbo Princess Himeka and her 90s generic music from a hair salon. Unagi, the desperate, tries to attack early, but Himeka powerbombs her for the win. Her next fight is against her partner, Micah. 14 points. Next is Mayu Iwatani. Who can win here? Hope Saya loses to Julia and head into the finals tied for the lead in the blue block. But she's facing against the spoiled Black Peach, Momo Watanabe, the dangerous one who literally put a wrench in Julia's hopes to finally be in the lead. Can she do it to Mayu? She certainly tries right away, choking her outside. Mayu quickly dispatches the plan, but Momo with the wrench, nope, she drops it. Serious Momo time? Mayu says, fuck you, and they're fighting, they're fighting, an old kid with the trip, and Momo with a hard kick, and then grabs the wrench, but misses, and tosses it to Mayu, she pulls an Eddie Guerrero, oh no, she lied, cheat, and tried to steal, order they homes, Latino heat baby, but the ref knows better, he doesn't believe her, and Mayu's back at offense with her usual little tricks. Big ol' kickoff with Mayu's super kick. Mayu up top like, I can do Eddie too, but Momo kicks out. Mayu powers up, but Momo reverses, but Mayu reverses, and Momo reverses into a tequila sunrise, and then lands her peach. Chicken wing applied. Mayu once again laying her body guide her to the ropes, but Momo stops her and gives her a bee driver. But Mayu kicks out. She reverses the peach drop, but Momo stops her with a kick. Now to throw a wrench into the match. Kid distracts as Momo readies the. Nope. Mayu with the super kick. Tope suicida. And a well tamed chair shot. Momo with the wrench kick to the back. Oh, hi, Ruaka. Momo capitalizes with a peach drop, but Mayu kicks out. Chicken wing applied again. Mayu passing out, but Momo lets go and goes for a peach sunrise. But zombie Mayu screams out and tries to crucifix, but Momo tosses her away and kicks her down. 
and then a massive punt with the ranch. Peach, Thunder, Lance, and Momo, the Black Peach spoils Mayu big time. Mayu now needs Dan Housen to curse the rest of the roster if she wants to win. Next is the Royal Tommy versus the Stardom Dream, Tam Nakano. Let the hype train continue! And oh, well, Tommy Nakano is singing Twilight Dream! Let's go! One, two, three. To design a twilight dream. As Lady C cosplays as a concert creature copying contagious cuteness. <laughs> and Tam angry oh Tommy. She's angry. The Tamu virus of cuteness fully infecting Utami Nakano. Big match at hand though, as Utami can't shed the virus of imitation. And Tam like, yeah, that's cute. But I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna fucking kill you! This is how you be cute! But Utami like, this is how you kill cuteness! But Tam escapes, but Utami after the arm. They tussle around, and Utami ends up outside for a Nakano anime dive. Inside, they trade suplexes. Big suplex exchange program. Neither willing to fall, but Utami has a stronger German. Tam reverses a torture rack bomb with her thighs. Crushing the air out of Utami and all of Tam Nakano's weaves. But she powers out and has Tam in the perfect position for an air raid crash. Tam responds by giving her a knee to the face. Here comes the fighting exchange program. Initiated! Utami versus Tam! Big kick by Tam, but she kicks out at one. Lariat by Utami, but Tam kicks out at one. Early violet screwdriver escape by Utami and more lariats. Torture rack bomb, but Tam kicks out. Big hijack bomb lands, and Utami solidly defeats Tam for 14 points. But Tam's still the cuter one. She can still win this whole thing. So let's keep the hype train going. Now, before we get to the main event, let's jump into the DLC and face Sister Freed. Suzu Suzuki versus Starlight Kid. A win here will give Starlight 16 points and the most pressure on everyone else. And right away, they go at it. A quick display of their skills. Suzu quickly takes Starlight outside for a tour. And Kid slams Suzu over and over in front of Rossi like, Don't you dare sign this bitch. And Suzu does the same thing like, Little bitch, little bitch, little bitch. And then Rina distracts as Kid punishes Suzu with a chair to the leg, little bitch, and a moonsault outside. Inside, Suzu with a spear, but kid after the leg, she dives, but Suzu quiets out. Drop kick on kid, and Suzu with a moonsault, very nice. Kid is pissed now. She avoided a direct fight, but said, screw it. Fight Club time, and Kid wins the exchange. Sadistic Kid with the nope. Suzu knocks the hell out of her. The Kid with the comeback and the moonsault to prove she can do it better than Suzu. So three times the moonsault. Many reversals, a struggle for control. Back and forth they go. They use each other to reach their feet. Strong headbutts and more great offense from Suzu. German reverse smoothly into the black tiger leg kill. But Suzu wastes no time to reach safety. Starlight says screw it. Reverse frog splash dive onto Suzu. But Suzu not ready to take the suplex and Germans the crap out of kid. 
a kid after the leg and locks on for the kill. The kill! Kid rolls her into the middle and latches on the legs. But what Suzu wanted was a fight. What won't she do? She reaches and reaches and grabs the ropes. Black Tiger suplex and Suzu kicks out. Not ready to die. I got big sister face, yo. She tries again, but Kid tries slapping Suzu and knocks her out for a moonsault. But Suzu just playing and spider suplexes Starlight off the top. Eesh. She doesn't land good either. German blocked again and Kid with a keychan bomb. But Suzu rather have a shot of tequila. Kid kicks out, so Suzu with one German, and then the rolling chaos style into one more German for the victory. 14 points for Suzu. She started this tournament with COVID and four losses. Now she's going to face Julia for all the marbles. And Suzu lays God's punishment on Kid. The ultra confident and blasphemous Suzu will face Julia in the finals as we go back in time and see if Julia can give herself the best chance of winning. The Ice Queen, Julia. With the most compelling story of this tournament, I was asked why one should root for Julia, and honestly, she doesn't ask to be. Julia's interest rests not in her group or in stardom as a whole, but her own ambitions to be on top of the world. A queen. Her cold emotions towards her actions is why she's an ice queen. But this doesn't make her a villain. Her actions are all understandable to anyone with ambition toward their career. It's simply one different philosophy and how to go about it. What makes her so great is that with such an attitude comes the master skills to match. Everyone loves, loves Julia because she does what she says she's going to do. For people who could give zero ounces about cuteness, ought to gravitate towards Julia. But she's facing against the Golden Phoenix, who has also thrown this tournament as she had the chance to run away with the lead. One of these two will lead by the end, who will fold under pressure. They start off being ginger with each other until Saya gets fancy and actually manages to distract Julia with her dramatic flips. Saya in control until Julia does this to get out of a pin and gain control. Smooth. Not to meme, but I legit laughed at this Julia splash. <laughs> Early STF and dramatic Saya with her hand like, where's the ropes? Oh no, it's inches away. I can't extend my poor paint elbow. What am I gonna do? Julia punishes the Broadway actor and then Saya like, and drops Julia down too. Inside crossbody, Star Crusher blocked, and Julia with the German, but Saya up, but Julia don't care, and locks in, and Manji Katami, but Saya like, yeah! And drops her down. Up top, they fight, and Julia with a butterfly on Saya. Suplex blocked, and a roundhouse ducked, but the second connects, as does Julia's drop kick, and Saya's bicycle knee. Third act now. Wheel kick, and then a fight off, and now fight clubbing time, including Julia's big old anime punch. But Saya with a drop kick and a top rope missile, Star Crusher block, and a Falcon Arrow. But Saya with a counter, but Julia counters too, and then a backslide into the Kamagoya setup into a vicious kick. Star Crusher hits, but Julia kicks out. You're gonna have to fly, Phoenix, fly. Firebird splash, and Julia catches Saya and locks in a triangle. Backdrop driver now, and Julia locks in the legs. Saya tries to slap, but Julia headbutts her and locks her in a guillotine. Legs trapped too. Saya locked in the Ice Queen's dungeon of submission she calls Buena Note. Good night, Saya. Julia hyped 
as she has finally taken the lead in the blue block. 15 points for the Ice Queen as she heads into the finals of the tournament with just one block left. The sister she scorned, who has all of the justification in the world for hating your guts and all the motivation to beat you, and even rightfully so. Will Julia's ambitions cause her past mistakes to cost her, or will her talent overcome all? The finals are coming. Lots of scenarios can happen, but regardless of the tournaments and accolades, Julia versus Suzu Suzuki is a personal matter. Will Suzu be rewarded for overcoming her trauma, or will Julia achieve her destiny as the best women's wrestler in the world? Thank you for watching. It's going to be epic.